So recently, Dingo Dinkleman saved these black mambas from certain death. Apparently, South Africans aren't super excited to have one of the world's most venomous snakes living in their backyards. Anyways, those black mamas needed a brand new home, where they can be psychotic and unpredictable, away from humans. Which is why we drove into the bush to visit Black Mamba Gorge, which definitely isn't a real place, so don't Google it. It's home of many refugee black mamas with horrible attitudes. Today, we're going to be releasing those black mamas into the wild, and I'll be chasing them with a drone to see where they're going, because that's probably special to a few of you, but... Quite challenging and scary for me considering water is instant death for my drone. And this video is sponsored by Rodent Pro. Check out rodentpro.com for amazing deals on rodent related stuffs. All right, guys, this is actually uh, one of my uh, wonderful times here with Dingo because we're getting to actually release animals that have been in human conflict and putting them back into a slice of uh, paradise. Yeah. Where they can escape humanity and live their lives. And not, spiders and not guys any. Whole lot. What's wrong with a spider or two? I don't know what kind of spiders oh, they are. It's baby. fine. Teaspoon of cement, toughen up, take a bite. These were big spiders, and, um, and there was like 10 of them. We've got three beautiful black mambas. So they were rescued from people's houses by a friend of mine, right? And um, I wanted to give you guys the opportunity to release them here. Now, here we're pretty remote. We're out in the bush. They've got water. They've got lots of food here. It's an excellent place for black mambas. And uh, I'll do the first one, Kev. This one's looking a bit psychotic. And then we'll just put them in the water, let them go. And then there's one for you, there's one for Josh as well. Yes. Oh my gosh, you are an angry black mamba. Here we go, buddy. Here we go. Here we go. Look at that. Look at him go. Ah! <laughs> Look at that go. Look at him. Hey, isn't that amazing? Check it. Like he knows check, what check, to check, do. Check, 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 check. How fast is that? That's why. People don't realize how... Look, there he goes. There he goes. Hey, I just went around the corner. Tom, there he he's goes. Going, he's look going. At look at him. Johnny? Yeah, I got him. I got him. He's freaking running. Look at that. Fastest snakes in the world. Look at him. That's scary. They could catch huh? up with a boat. Swim, uh -oh. climb, Go over the other side, buddy. All over. He's coming back. Look at him. Just head up, huh? There we go. A lot of people don't know they can swim. They think like they just live in trees. Boy, and they, can they they're swim. very arboreal, but look at that. He's done a whole semicircle. He's coming back on the bank with That's us. That's interesting. How cool is that? Now, generally, this is a better bank for them because look, this is the north facing slope here in South Africa means hotter, right? Big cliff faces up there. He'll live up there. I'm like, is he still in the water? No. No, he's right he up is. by that big rock now. How cool is that? Best feeling ever releasing animals back into the bush. This is where all my drone stuff is. That's cool. That's the rock that I'm going to be doing all of my piloting from in a few minutes. And there's a large pissed off black mamba hiding somewhere around it. So I'm a little bit concerned. Gone, Donnie. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the bag. Oh, Donnie, he can't see us. <laughs> yeah, like right there. Yeah, it's not gone. I just can't see it. <laughs> Donnie's going to have his goggles on with a mamba somewhere here. <laughs> oh, shucks. Is he going to yeah, sit there? Right, Sitting on that rock. Yeah, he's been exceptionally brave since there's a mamba. Right I would like come and sit here. And we know it's not because of the mamba. Is it two and a half meter mamba next Is it not better for him to come sit here? Huh? Nah, is it not he's, better? He's good. Jeez. But like, that's very brave for him. That's very yeah. good. For him, yeah. I'm impressed. And the worst thing is with his goggles on, he can see nothing around him. Right. <laughs> Jeez, Lance, keep an eye that you don't see a mamba climbing up the rock. Yeah. yeah. No, that's not where we want you to go. There you go. Here he goes. What? Here he goes. Look at that. Now he's going. How's right up on that. Look at that. Woo! Woohoo! Nice. Woo Is it actually a little, a little hairy how he kind of doubled back. And you know, I just don't want to just like fling him all over the place. And he went back onto this rock. Uh, so I was actually happy I was able to get him out there and put him where we could enjoy him. Otherwise, we'd have to abandon this rock location because... We're kind of, we're all standing around here, but uh, that's really enjoyable to actually, very few of these animals probably actually get that chance once they've encountered people actually to live. And Dingo makes sure they get the best possible chance. We drove quite a ways to get these animals out here and uh, the place is just awesome looking. I can't even imagine 
what other kind of fauna is here. He, yep. He's in the mood to pop out, so you move when he's there and he should go away from you, hopefully. Okay. Hopefully. Alright, buddy. There's your chance. There's your chance. If you want, Josh. When I move, he might pop. You can even just fold that down a little bit. Like, push the container push over here. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Beautiful. How's that? That's awesome. There he goes, right up on the bank. Did it? Yeah, he's right on the there bank. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. That's gonna be cool. He's a good sauce snake, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So what a lot of people don't realize is that, like some people are gonna comment 100% saying, why are you releasing these? They should all be killed. Uh, these are apex predators in the area. They keep down rodent populations. They keep down human populations. No, they don't. But um, all of these animals rescued from people's homes where it comes into conflict with people, and um, every animal deserves a chance to live and to breed and to do all of that stuff. So uh, it's really for us, it's a really special moment when we get to put animals like this back in the bush that have only run into conflict with humans because of humans. They haven't done anything wrong. They're not coming in to eat us or to bite us or to try and kill us. Where's he going? Hello. Oh, he must be right on him. Oh yeah, he's over him on the bank there. That's cool. Uh, That's cool. Perfect. <laughs> oh dear. Are those your only shoes you brought? Yeah. Uh, looks pretty waterproof. All right, guys, that was definitely a first. We got to release three uh, relocated black mambas in what Dingo is calling Black Mamba Valley. And it's, it's glorious. Looks like there's a lot of places for these animals to live. The ecosystem. Uh, looks quite still intact and it's exciting just the whole thing is, is really exciting getting the ability to actually be part of releasing something back into the wild when I'm constantly conflicted with uh, what humans are doing to these animals we get to actually do something nice this whole trip um, was we're enabled by Rodent Pro actually they helped us a lot and it's all conservation this was even conservation here relocating these animals takes time and resources and takes money believe it or not because dingo gets these animals sometimes he's actually having to feed them and take care of them get them up to a condition where you can release them but all of this is actually the face of conservation i'm just glad my buddy's with me here seeing what africa's about yeah and i'm gonna punt we got a volunteer program where people from around the world can join us here and do stuff like this isn't so, that cool and that is, July, August. Is, is amazing because we have an all-star venomous handler. His uh, techniques and his respect of these animals is incredible. We oh, all you. have a lot to learn. Uh, he has such a, a broad uh, capacity of what he's dealing with, his knowledge, his uh, innate sense of these animals. And that is very important, learning how to read animals and predict some of their behaviors. Like Black Mambas, he's got this stuff down. I've learned a lot. And uh, I feel a lot better dealing with black mambas. I gotta turn my camera on, dude. You didn't turn your camera on! <laughs>